subscribe to LJP Tech's channel. Okay. Subscribe to LJP Tech's channel. Okay. So less than a week ago, I actually posted on my YouTube community post and the official Vector Facebook group page and my Facebook page and on Twitter and etc. that I'm going to try and make a video regards to uh, controlling Vector as a first person view. So F PV. And um, if you actually followed my previous video regards to uh, mirror imaging, what you can see from your smart uh, phone to your smart glasses, uh, then it's quite transparent what you can do. But on top of that, these are the requirements I would like to st state it for you. So you first of all need the vector robot obviously, and uh, you need the view smart glasses. And lastly, I'm sure most of you actually have a smartphone. And within that, you need to download an app called Vector, not the official Vector app, but a Vector Control app. So CTRL. And um, there are there's the standard one and also the ad free one. So the standard one free one actually shows advertisement and gives you limited time of how you can control the app. But if you pay less than 10 uh, British pounds, you, you, get, you can get rid of the use, limited usage time and also the advertisement. So that's what I paid for, for you guys, for your entertainment. So those are the requirements and you're all good to go. So on the main page of your view smart glasses, you go to the um, cast app which is called the screen casting app and you click on that and then you need to go to the device web API manager and then get the QR code going to the um, okay so now we basically have the mirror image of the screen that you can see from your mobile phone now the screen is all mirror image you actually go to the main page and then you search for that app called vector control ad free is the one that i paid for and then if i go to the main page you can actually see the main page and then you need to go to connect and play so when i actually set it up for my vector by the way uh, now i need to press the um, connect button and it's all good to go so vector is now on manual control mode by using this app so i can now see from my smart glasses what vector actually sees so at the moment there is a control setting of one and left what i mean by that is if you look at the disconnect button next to it there's a control one and control two i find control one to be more trickier slightly more easier to move vector's hand so as you can see it's up and down moving um, and then I can move his head up and down. That's easier slightly more on the control one, but I find the control two much better. I mean, it depends on your taste, but um, yeah, I, I would actually go for the control two for this video explanation. So now again, uh, on my smart glasses, I could see what Vector is seeing. So I do feel like now I'm actually integrated with Vector, which is pretty cool actually. So if I were to uh, move my hands up, for vector and then I could move his head down up now I can see that vector is looking up to the actual lighting of this um, th this video recording camera um, video lighting and then I can see the vector heads going down and so on now I'm gonna move ve vector forward and then I could see that vector has moved forward turn left and then turn right and then let's try to see if I could make Vector look at me um, so yeah I could see that Vector is looking at me now and I could say hello to Vector and um, we're now actually seeing each other uh, with my smart glasses and <laughs> Vector is actually now looking at me through his uh, camera and so on so um, it's it's pretty cool actually so yeah, you can move it around and then if you're not happy with the, the angle of where Vector's head is facing, you can now lower it and then you can actually control, um, get rid of the arm because it's blocking its view. So you can go forward, backward and turn left 
and turn right. So you can imagine this could be done remotely as well. So I could be in my bedroom and Vector could be in the living room and I could monitor what's going on. Pretty much simple, to, well, similar to what a Scout robot can do with your smart glasses or your smartphone as well. So um, the other thing, the great advantage of Vector is in fact, you can type in manually of what you want Vector to say. Um, so I, I actually typed it here. So if I ask Vector to say it, it will be, here it goes. Okay, so uh, please subscribe. Um, so you can actually type in manually by using this app, which is pretty cool as well. The other thing I wanna highlight on this particular app is that you can actually uh, customize the image of Vector as well, which um, I don't wanna go too much on detail, but it's because as this video is more focusing on the first person view. So by using a smart glass, again, it does feel like you're more integrated. You're part of a uh, vector now um, as almost like a one body because you got the vision of vector, but also the flexibility of what's going on around you as well, which is pretty cool for having a smart glass like music. So um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really cool. I have to say um, once I get used to the control where it's based at, because I'm in the beginning stage of trying to learn exactly where you're located. I mean, imagine when you're trying to start, you start a new game, you don't know exactly where the button is and you got to get used to it. That's where the stage I am, but more I get used to it. I can sort of start to get the feel how I can move the arm with uh, or tilt the head up or down. And now I could also get the sense of where, where the button is for moving forward and backward is for Vector. But at the same time, constantly, you will be able to see what Vector is seeing as well. So it's kind of like a almost eerie feeling, but very cool indeed. So the reason I got the smart glasses was I was trying to explore the daily uses, for example, the navigation and um, watching YouTube on my own uh, without actually exposing myself to the public and so on. But I didn't really expect that I'll be able to get the first person view for Vector. That's why I was so excited about it. And simply this could have been possible because of the, we got the right app that we could download at, bit of a money to pay. I mean, most kids, I'm sure they could afford it. And number two is that I got the smart class as well. It's, it's something that I wanted to let you guys know, my loyal viewers out there, that there's so many things that still uh, we can do uh, with Vector. And it's, it's, it's great actually to have this separate screen on your smart glass to be able to experience become more one with Victor, if you see what I mean. So I hope this video uh, gave you a bit of an entertainment and knowledge and um, also where we stand on the technology wise. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.